Hi, welcome to the video how to set up AWS SDK for Java for Amazon S3. I am Nam Haming from Code Java.net. In the next few minutes, you will learn how to set up a Java Maven project for development with Amazon S3 using Amazon Web Services Software Development Kit or AWS SDK for Java programming language. To follow this video, you must have an AWS account and an IAM admin user. If you don't have any AWS account, please uh, follow the video how to create AWS account on my YouTube channel and also follow the video how to create AWS IAM users on my YouTube channel. You know, basically, here are the steps uh, to set up AWS SDK for Java for Amazon S3. Firstly, uh, we need to create an AWS IAM user with access type is uh, programmatic access and then uh, declare a dependency for AWS SDK for Java but limited to Amazon S3 and then uh, set the default AWS uh, credentials and reason via environment variables or via config file or via Java system properties and in this video I will show you how to config AWS credentials via environment variables All right, so let's head over to the homepage of Amazon Web Services at this URL, aws.amazon.com and click the button Sign in to the console and you should sign in as an IAM user uh, enter the account ID and IAM username and password to sign in Okay, you see I have signed in successfully into the AWS uh, management console and click the IAM service uh, in the recently visited services. If you don't see IAM here, you can click the menu services, scroll down a little bit and click uh, security identity and compliance and click IAM. Okay, here we go, the IAM management console and Click the user menu on the left here to uh, add a new user. Click button add users and type username. For example, code Java S3 and choose the access type is access key, uh, programmatic access here. Okay, and then click next permissions and here because I already created a, a group user group for S3 admin here so I can uh, add this user to this group uh, admin S3 with the attach policy is uh, Amazon S3 full access uh, if you don't have the group you can attach uh, existing policy directory click this button and then search for the uh, S3 uh, for example uh, Amazon S3 full access here okay now I want to add the user to this group and click next next okay review the information and click create user okay the user has been created and now I have the access key ID and secret access key here okay now let me uh, open the system in Ryman variables on Windows go to Windows settings and search for system system in Ryman variables here click in Ryman variables okay and create a new um, system uh, environment variable the first one is for the AWS region okay you see uh, in my AWS account my region name is US US is 2 US underscore East underscore 2 let me check 
us is two no underscore us is two okay the first environment variable for aws reason and the second one is for the aws access key id aws access key id and uh, copy the value here click this button to copy the uh, access key id okay and the next one the last one is aws secret access key and copy the value here click show and copy uh, note that the uh, secret access key appears only once so we need to uh, keep it in a secure place okay okay that's it so i created uh, three uh, system uh, environment variables aws access key id uh, aws secret access key and aws origin make sense okay okay and close this press close and this is a new user called java s3 uh, got created here and view the details and if she's a permission is amazon s3 full access and click uh, security credentials and here you can see only the access key id the secret key uh, is uh, no longer uh, visible that means uh, the secret access key appears only once so we need to copy the access key uh, immediately all right now let's come to a java maven project in eclipse ide as you can see here i have a java maven project amazon s3 here and open this uh, pom.xml file uh, to uh, add the dependency for aws sdk okay and you can see i'm using uh, jdk version 15 okay and we specify the dependency management section to import a uh, uh, build up materials dependency 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 and group id is software dot amazon dot aws sdk and artifact id is pom or build up materials and version is 2.15.0 and the type is pom and scope is import and to know the latest version of AWS SDK, you can uh, go uh, to um, Maven uh, repository, Maven repository here, and search for software AWS software dot Amazon dot AWS SDK form. Search. Okay, click the result uh, that uh, shows the POM here, build up materials, and you can see the latest version as of now is 2.17.89, but I'm using only the version uh, 2.15.0. Okay, and then we specify the dependency we want to use for Amazon S3 API. Uh, dependencies. and dependency and group id is software dot amazon dot aws sdk and artifact id is s3 and we don't have to specify the version it will use the version uh, specified by the pom here okay and you see in the Maven dependency section here, it uh, downloaded the jar files for AWS SDK for Amazon S3 API, you see.
And in this uh, project, I already have a Java class that uh, uses uh, Amazon S3 API to list objects. So let me uh, uncomment the code and import the interfaces and classes from Amazon S3 API. You see, import S3 client from software.amazon.awssdk.services.s3. List object request. List objects response. List from the VUT. S3 object from AWS SDK for S3. List iterator from the VUT. Okay. Okay, and now let me run this very simple program. Right click, run as Java application. And you see I got error. Access denied. Okay, uh, let me change the bucket name here to shop me price and run the program again. I got the same error. You see the different error message, the bucket you are attempting to access. Let me see in my uh, in, uh, AWS here services uh, S3 here and see the bucket name. Shop me files here. And you see the reason is uh, is a specific. So I need to update the system environment variable. Okay, so open the window settings, Windows settings, system environment variable. And I update the AWS region here to the correct region of the bucket in Asia Pacific Southeast one here. Okay, and note that Note that you must uh, exit the ID and run again for the changes of uh, environment variables uh, take effect. Okay, so let me quit uh, exit the IDE. All right, I have uh, reopened the IDE and uh, to know the values of the uh, environment variables in the IDE, you can go to help about Eclipse IDE installation details uh, configuration uh, wait a moment okay now you see the system uh, environment variables for AWS here you see AWS access key ID AWS reason AWS uh, secret access key okay now let me run this uh, program run as java application you see in the console it uh, prints uh, the content of the bucket uh, shop me files the uh, directories and files and that means the program uh, has connected successfully to amazon s3 server and uh, uh, get the content of the bucket shop me files Okay, so far you have learned how to set up AWS SDK for Java for Amazon S3. To sum up, you need to create an AWS IAM user with access type is uh, programmatic access and then declare the dependency for AWS SDK for Java uh, limited to Amazon S3 API and set the default AWS credentials and region via the uh, environment variables. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.